Hello my dear learners. So today we will be learning about preservation of art. Why is there need to preserve art? Why should art be preserved? Art documents, events and experiences allow us a richer understanding of history. Art reflects cultural values, beliefs and identity and helps to preserve the many different communities that make up our world. Art chronicles our own lives and experiences over time. Arts and culture are an indication of heritage and legacy and are a proof of an ancient past. If a society loses its arts and culture, then it loses its heritage, history, legacy and once lost, it cannot be revived or reconquered. Now what are the ways that you can use to preserve art forms? Exhibitions and fairs are the best way to preserve art forms such as paintings, sculpturing etc. People get to see a lot of traditional fine art works which is crafted with perfection. Such shows inspire them to learn the traditional art forms. Use of social media platforms such as YouTube, Pinterest help in the preserving and promoting various arts. As time progresses, transformations take place in every field. Ancient Indian folk painting and art styles have been passed down from generation to generation and are still practiced in different parts of the country to preserve them. However, the method and materials have changed with the period of time. Let's see what are the changes. Few transformations that now we see are In Worli, earlier it was made with natural colors in walls or stones now it's made with acrylic or poster colors on paper, canvas, clothes and even on saris. Many of the paintings are done on a red ochre or dark background while the shapes are white in color. So with changing times, the techniques and the colors have also started to change. God art which characterized the sense of belonging with nature created the bold vibrantly colored paintings depicting mainly flora and fauna. The colors come from charcoal, cow dung, leaves and colored soil. If you look closely, it is made up of dots and lines. Today these styles are imitated but with acrylic colors. It can be called an evolution in the gaunt art form, spearheaded by Jangar Singh Sham, the most popular Gond artist who revived the art for the world in the 1960s. Similarly, in Western style, art use of colors and style has changed. Cubism is not restricted with making drawing on paper. Cardboard crafts and different ideas are making it more innovative. Example of modern artwork and designs that have a clear touch of cubism style is digital art. So these are the transformations that we have seen in the various art forms with the changing times. Now it's time for some tasks, some brainstorming that you need to do. First is write any two ways how we can preserve our traditional arts. And the second one is really interesting. If you have made a beautiful painting and you want to keep it with you for a long time, what will you do to keep it safe and secure?